Listen to this. There were two brothers who were on a journey. Now, these two brothers, the first brother was extremely handsome, but the other brother was not so handsome. In fact, he was very ugly. Now, these brothers were on a mission to locate a treasure that their father has hidden in a village somewhere. Now, as they were going, the first handsome brother was in the lead. They both traveled on foot in different directions. Then the handsome brother got to a nearby town. It was getting late, so he decided to go and ask for a place to stay and then maybe find food and water to eat. He knocked on the first door, and then the woman opened the door. When the woman saw this man, he said, Oh, wow! How can we help you? You are so handsome. The woman didn't even know what to say. She had never seen such a handsome man in his life. He was so excited and she offered him food, water and a place to sleep. But unknown to this handsome young man, the house that he entered, the people there in the entire town, they were cannibals. And so deep in the night, when the young man was sleeping, the woman went to tell her husband and the young men in the town that we've gotten a handsome man. This is a handsome meat that we are going to enjoy tonight. So the men sharpened their cutlass, ready to kill and eat. When they entered the room, this young man sleeps with a light on. When they entered and saw the man sleeping on the bed, they looked at his face and he was just handsome. They kept admiring his beauty and handsomeness. Stood there and stood there. One of them said, this may surely be an angel from God. If we kill him, maybe God will punish us. For this one year, let him go. Because of his handsomeness, they let him go. And they did not kill him. The next day they gave him food and water and showed him the direction to the village and he went. That evening, his other brother, the ugly brother, reached that same town. It was getting late. He decided to go and look for a place to stay. Unfortunately, he knocked on the same door that his handsome brother had knocked the night before. When the woman saw him, said, what, what is this? Yesterday we were visited by an angel, but today the devil himself has come. This man was just ugly. His teeth were dirty. Everything about his face was ugly. He asked them, can I have a place to lay my head? I'm traveling to this place and it's late and I can't continue. He said, yeah, we can give you a place. They offered him a place to lay his head. They couldn't even give him food because the woman could not even look at his face. In the night, the woman told his husband, tonight we have gotten something very ugly. Just cut off the head and throw it away. We can eat somebody. Now, when the men sharpened their cutlass and were ready to enter the room to go and kill this man, this man, unlike his brother, will sleep with the light off. So when the guys went into the room, the place was dark. Now when they were opening the door, this man felt that somebody is coming. So he stood up and sat on the bed. But the room was dark. When the young man entered and raised the light to look for him, lo and behold, the light went straight to his face. And when they saw the face, the man sitting there with his face squeezed with his ugliness. When they saw, they were so scared. They thought the devil had come to visit them. They shouted and they fled. That was the end of that village people eating human meat again. They ran away. The next morning, the guy woke up. Nobody was there. Took any food he could get and left. You see, my dear friend, it's a very funny story. But what I want you to understand is that irrespective of how God made you, you were made for a purpose. No matter what you have or what you don't have, you may not have big hips like other people. You, your face may not be like what you see on television. There may be beautiful ladies on TikTok that you yearn to be like. There may be some handsome guys on TikTok that you want to be like or on social media. Listen, never ever in your life compare yourself with other people. Don't try to change who you are to be like somebody in order for you to achieve your goal. Imagine if this ugly brother had tried to change his face to be like his brother. He would have ended in somebody's soup. Be yourself. No matter how you are, no matter who you are, no matter how you look like, you look the way you look for a purpose and you are going to reach your destination the way you are. The way you are is your key to your destiny. Never think that you were created different. You are special. Remember, you were made in the image of God. God bless you. Shalom.